Erica Wheeler, the senior from Miami, against the freshman Hanford, and Wheeler with the veteran move so far. And out rebounding teams, which Coach Tartamella told me before the game was important for today. Seven to shoot for Rutgers. Benajah Laney knocks it down on the baseline. Wheeler going against Brown. Has to fade away, and Eric Wheeler hits. Lee looking for position inside, has nothing, so they pull it out again. Here's Holliday. That's not her shot. Lee gets the rebound. Lucky bounce, and she lays it through, and that's what the Scarlet Knights needed. Holliday gets by her defender, Smith, and the freshman, Sean Wise, she was the number nine recruit in this year's freshman class. Mario Butch trying to set a screen. Richardson can't find it. Now it's Laney with two to shoot. Beats the shot clock with a much needed jumper. 13 point lead for St. John's is their largest. Here's Comper. Another miss for the Scarlet Knights. Holiday tries again. Finally gets it to drop. Rachel Holiday has four points. In the first half of the Tennessee game, didn't play in the second half of that contest and missed the LaSalle game. Trying to get her rhythm. Laney able to rebound and put it back through, but Aja Laney now has six. Some screens, some cuts. Three to shoot for Wheeler. Down the lane, got it to go as the shot clock was coming to one. Laney to the basket. Lefty scoop on the run for Benajah Laney. More of that. Good movement there, frees up Wheeler inside the arc, jumpers through. Erica Wheeler has scored eight, and the Scarlet Knights are back within six and still pressing. Kalia Copper, the freshman from Philadelphia, down the lane, scooping it through, and the foul, and Sean White, he's one of the most athletic players here at Rutgers in years. Well, this is what Rutgers has missed, steal and score. There's 19 seconds left on the shot clock. They need to score early. They can't sit in their offensive sets and watch things move right here. The crossover and the finish with the contact on the opposite arm. Scarlet Knights looking to run. Davis for Copper, cutting to the basket for two. Second basket for Kalia Copper here in the second half. Senior from Miami. Feeding Laney in the corner. But Nigel Laney has had that shot going. She's now into double figures with 10. Against the South in the first half. Laney in the corner. That's been really the only shot that's been going for Rutgers. And Laney's been consistent with her outside jumper. Rachel Holliday inside for Rutgers, showing why she's one of the best post players among freshmen in the country. They scored a season-high 41 in their last second half against LaSalle on Wednesday. Wheeler on the drive, straight to the basket, got it to go. Erica Wheeler now in double figures with 10, and they'll press down by nine. Rutgers trail 27 to 14 at halftime. One minute to go. Wheeler can't connect with a hand in her face. Davis follows up for the bucket. All of a sudden, it's a seven-point game with 55 seconds to go. Nice execution by Rutgers coming out of that timeout to get Laney that three. Out of bounds off the red storm. McKenneth couldn't keep it in as she ran into the bench. Scarlet Knights in the midst of an 11 to 2 run and they'll have it back. Shot clock off, 23 seconds. Rutgers down by four. Wheeler steps into a three. Rebound for Lee, trying to go back up. Fouled. She'll be at the line for two. Clock stopped with 14.9 to go. 46 to 44, St. John's. And they get the foul again before the inbound. Back to a four point game, 11 seconds. Wheeler trying to keep it alive. Five seconds, long three. Bounces out with 3.9 seconds to go. 